Ranger Dave, Calamity Carly, you got your ears on? Yeah, we sure do. I think we're getting close to Nebraska, aren't we? Oh, this is the Missouri River, buddy. Yeah, I think it's awesome to think how in the summer of 1804, this is where Lewis and Clark came up this stretch of the Missouri. Y'all smell that? That's the good life. Welcome to Nebraska. I love coming home to Nebraska anytime I can. And anytime I can bring other people who have never been, it's more than cows and corn. And the first stop was Arbor Lodge. I had no idea Arbor Day was created here. I want everybody to know that Arbor Day didn't just happen. It's not just a Hallmark holiday. It really was because they saw the land and... It's impacted the whole country. It's impacted oh, the world, yeah, you think absolutely. about it. We want to welcome you to Arbor Lodge, the home of Arbor Day. Jay Sterling and Caroline Morton were married in the fall of 1854. When they arrived in Nebraska Territory, they realized that the environment was not quite what they were used to. We're gonna need trees in Nebraska Territory for shelter, for shade, for windbreaks, eventually for fuel, for food, for habitat for animals, and basically to plant for the future. When he was president of the State Board of Agriculture, he proposed to have a day set aside just for tree planting. That first Arbor Day, April 10th of 1872, a million trees were planted in Nebraska. Now Arbor Day is celebrated all around the world. I love history, and I found out some new history for me today. And on that first Arbor Day in 1872, they actually planted a million trees, and I found that was absolutely fascinating. I think many people don't realize the impact Nebraska has had on this country. Laura, thank you so much for showing us the history and telling us about the Morton family and Arbor Day. We're ready to see the future. We're honored to have you here, and let's go check out the future over at Arbor Day Farm. Arbor Day Farm is an extension of the Arbor Day Foundation, and so it's really where the mission comes to life. It's where people can come to the property, learn about tree planting, learn about tree species, interact with the forest, and kind of just get inspired to want to go and do this maybe at their home, on their property, in their neighborhood, in their community. The Missouri River Valley kind of creates a microclimate. There's just a growing zone that is conducive for all sorts of things here, right? So we're growing apples, we're growing grapes. Historically, they grew more cherries and peaches. It's possible to grow all sorts of horticultural crops in this part of the country. I see all this beautiful tree house, and, and now I'm looking at the treetop village. You better go enjoy it. This is the star attraction of Arbor Day Farm, besides the trees, of course. So uh, have fun. Thank you. And um, be safe. All right, thank okay. you very Thanks much. Thanks, Patricia. Bye-bye. This wild, it's like a roller coaster, it's bouncy. Holy Moses. <laughs> one foot in front of the other. Oh, I don't know no, about this. No room for error on this one. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ranger Dave, you're missing it, buddy. It's like a monkey business. Oh, 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 stop. Oh. Come on, guys, let's roll. We got to get to Flat River. I'm over here. Come on, let's All go. Right, cool. Let's get going. Hold on, watch out. Get ready. Whoa! <laughs> Fumble. The tree adventure. Bring the kids. It's awesome.